Hey, it's Aubrey. Happy New Year, you guys. I'm so excited to be kicking off 2023. I gotta get used to saying that. I'm so happy to be kicking off a brand new, fresh year. I reset my home after the holidays. I spent the whole week, me and my husband and my kids, refreshing, recleaning, getting everything just kind of reset for the new year. And it feels so good. I wanna kick off the new year with a new Studio McGee and Hearth in Hand. They came out with a new collection for Target and I wanna cover those with you guys today. I went through both collections. I have to say I really love what Studio McGee came out with. A lot of great choices and I can't wait to show you guys. I'm not gonna cover every single one but I'm gonna show you my top favorite picks from both collections. We have a ton of products we're gonna quickly cover and I wanna share them with you guys, so let's get started. To start off, I wanna show you guys this beautiful cabinet from Magnolia. This is their grooved wooden arch bookcase. This year they are definitely launching some good statement pieces and this one really caught my eye. This is the grooved wooden arch bookcase by Magnolia, $4.99. I think the price is pretty doable based off of the size. I really love the black and the natural wooden color. I love them both. The black is currently out of stock, but as you guys know, if you're familiar with shopping on Target, just click that notify button and you'll get an email once it's back in stock. This furniture piece has multiple drawers and shelves. I love the groove design. It's made out of wood. It does have adjustable shelves as well, so you can coordinate your decor accordingly to the size. But either way, I think this is a great furniture piece to have in your home office or a living room or a dining room. I'm just thrilled that they launched this beautiful wooden shelf. The next piece that I really liked from Magnolia are these beautiful faux leather storage bins. I did see these in person at my local Target. I love them even more in person. These are really good quality, kind of have like a leather look and feel. There is some weight to them as well. So they're not like, you know, crazy light. They don't feel cheap, even though the price is very affordable, $24.99. They come in three different sizes. They did have all three sizes there when I saw them. I love the leather stitch detailing of them. You could obviously use some of these as like maybe a really cute trash bin or just organization bins as well. But these I think are a really great price. $24.99 for the small one. The medium one is 34 and the large one is 49. So the large one is definitely a little bit more pricey than what I, like I would probably wanna pay I don't know, maybe $35 for the large one. So I feel like their pricing is a little high on their larger sizes, but nonetheless, it's a really great look and feel. Hearth and Hand also launched this really cute metal plant mister. I really like this, especially for the price, but it's a lightweight mister. It is leak proof. It's a brass finish with a stainless steel construction. It does have an adjustable knob and it's just nice and portable. So in case you have house plants all over your house like I do, this is just a nice, easy way to get them all misted and watered. Now carrying on with the plant theme, Magnolia also came out with a propagation system. This is a nine piece steel and glass plant propagation in the set gold. It's a glass plant propagation set. It's hand washable. It has an antique finish with a steel construction. It's super light and you can also hang it on your wall as well. It does come with nine little slots so you can repropagate your indoor house plants if you want. This I thought was so cute. Now this you can obviously attach to the wall and I'm not sure where I would even attach it. I I wish it was more of like a freestanding set where I could set on like a kitchen counter or somewhere like that. But it's so cute and it's so fun. So especially if you have like a greenhouse or maybe doing like a propagation wall, I think would be so cool and unique for like a really cute accent wall. Um, but anyways, I really like this. It was $29.99. Magnolia also launched some new size lanterns. And when I was at Target, they did have the gold ones and I thought they looked really beautiful. A really great dupe for the Pottery Barn ones. Not as large as Pottery Barn, but pretty close and a fraction of the cost. They come in two different colors. There's gold and there's black for $29.99. The large one is $49.99. Great in case you want to place these by your fireplace or by your front door, I think would be a really great option as well. I also love to style lanterns on console tables. They just make a great filler for any type of empty space and they come in three different sizes. So if you guys are looking for lanterns, definitely check out these ones. Magnolia launched another bookcase. So the one prior had the two lower drawers where you can close them off to hide things behind. This one is just an arched bookcase. Same type of style and groove, just with open shelves. Again, this one's $4.99. It is sold out in the black, but 
it also has the natural wood as well. So the other one has the cabinet. This is just a strictly open wooden bookcase as well. I love them both. I think if I had to choose, I'd probably go with the one that has like the two cabinet doors. I like the fact of being able to hide some stuff, but also have some items on display and styled really nicely. So I think if I had to choose between the two, I would go for the first one. Magnolia also launched a new turned black leg coffee table. This is $1.99. I really like the turned leg. I think it's a very simple. It does feature a pull-out drawer for convenient storage. It's also a rectangular top that you can rest your drinks on, snacks, dishes, or even just simple decor. But I love the turn leg design for just a little added interest. For $1.99, I feel like this is definitely a very affordable coffee table. Now, one thing to keep in mind when shopping for Target furniture is a lot of their furniture tends to be on the smaller side and for smaller living areas. That's one thing I think is why it's so small is because of the price point. Obviously, if you're gonna want a larger coffee table, it's gonna be way more than $1.99. But nonetheless, I think it is a really great price and very affordable for any budget. All right, this first one that caught my eye from Studio McGee, it's actually just a throw blanket. It's very simple. They're selling it for $30. It comes in three different colors, a light green, a camel, and then a cream. This next piece from Studio McGee, I was floored that they launched this at Target. I think this is a, an amazing furniture piece to have. This is their Brandy's Woven Cabinet in the color brown. They are selling it for $500. I love this for so many reasons. I love the size of it. I'm not a fan of small furniture. I like to buy bigger pieces, things that are gonna make a statement. Um, and this one, I just feel like totally hits the mark. Of course, it's sold out online. You guys can be notified when it comes back in stock, but this, I think, is just such a beautiful find. Studio McGee is another great find. This is their Brandy's Woven Console Table. They're selling it for $350. I actually don't think that's a bad price. The size of it is pretty decent as well. I love that hardware that they used on that previous cabinet. It's kind of that traditional feel. I love the two working drawers that it has on it. It does weigh 44 pounds, so not crazy heavy, maybe more a little bit more on the lighter side where you, where you are gonna wanna mount this to your wall just for safety purposes. But this is uh, 30 inches by 50 inches, so not crazy big. I think it's perfect for a cute small entryway. You can style it up so many different ways. But again, this one is also out of stock, but don't forget to be notified if you're interested in it. They also came out with some matching nightstands. This is the Almera nightstand in the color brown. $200 for a nightstand. I, again, they have that same color, the same hardware. I think these are really cute. These are coming soon. They are gonna be launched on January 5th, so make sure you keep your eye out for those. They also launched another console table. This one has a little bit more of that paneling detailing on the front. $350, this one launches January 1st, which went live today, so don't forget to check that one out. Again, another console table. You can see that they're styling it behind a sofa. Um, I think you could also use this in an entryway as well, but nonetheless, two really great options for console tables from Studio McGee. I like the look of barrel accent chairs. Um, I like the rounded, soft corners of them. Studio McGee launched these for $300. They come in an olive green, a light brown. They do have a couple different colors, a linen, a dark velvet as well. I really like these. You can also place Place it under a floor lamp in your living room and just kind of create a nice little small end table to create a charming and cozy reading corner in your home. So these are really great, nice petite chairs, especially if you just want to switch up your furniture for the new year. Definitely check out these ones. All right, the next accent chair that really caught my eye from Studio McGee is the Richfield Barrel Spindleback. This one is $390. This chair is rather small. So I feel like for $390, I want like a little bit more of a larger chair for that price point. It's made of wood, it does have removable cushions as well. It's a nice upholster chair and I think it definitely has that kind of pure salt interiors look and feel to it. Kind of that beachy transitional vibe. I think it's a really great accent chair, but for 390, I think it should be just a little bit bigger. They did launch another accent chair, which came out with this Holly Swing Back accent chair. And this chair has removable cushions as well. I do like the leather detailing, which I think adds a very you know, expensive look to it. This chair is $300, but I do like that they're trying to bring a high-end look and design to affordable budget. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you guys love Target videos, I will link my most recent one down below.